Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. As we look at East IES on the satellite and on the radar behind me here, it's still a very large storm system, still a tropical storm system over the Bahamas. Now, there's a little bit of rain that's affecting areas in Florida. We saw some of that from that video that we saw earlier in our newscast of the rain, the surf that's impacting the area. Not too bad right now because, once again, the winds and the center of the circulation still well to the east. Of Florida. The storm system has been interesting to watch throughout the day. It was much smaller about five, six hours ago. It only had a diameter where the biggest thunderstorms were of about 55 miles. Since then, it's expanded to about 250 miles, so it's gotten a lot larger. It hasn't gotten much stronger, really not stronger at all, but it has spread out a lot. And we're going to see this evolve and change as we see this move over the waters, moving close to the Florida overnight, probably becoming a hurricane early tomorrow morning before sunrise. At 8 a.m., we'll see a 75 mile an hour wind category one hurricane moving close to Fort Lauderdale, moving through West Palm Beach, moving further to the north near Cocoa Beach and into Cape Canaveral areas. Big reason why the astronauts on the space station are landing near Pensacola tomorrow. They're splashing down there and not here. They don't want to mess with a hurricane, and that's certainly a smart idea. Now, as the storm system moves across the southern Atlantic along the Georgia coastline, it'll actually weaken a little bit. The atmosphere is not too conducive for this thing to get stronger, which is fine by me. Tuesday early morning, North Carolina, it's starting to move into their area, even South Carolina, too. Tuesday, 8 a.m., close to Raleigh. Now the storm system is starting to pick up into our area. That's when we'll start to see the impacts. Tuesday morning, as the latest forecast indicates here. This storm has been slowing down. This storm has also been moving to the west. And that's what we're seeing the trend with this thing as it develops and moves into the area. Tuesday, 1 p.m., the storm system is basically right on top of us because by the evening, 8 p.m., this storm is north of Delaware and it's into New Jersey. So it's not going to last very long once it arrives. It's a Tuesday morning, early afternoon event, and then it should be gone, as the trend says now, by Tuesday evening. The tracks generally have the storm system staying inland, so that hasn't changed too much, and that will likely be the track and the trend of the storm system as we watch it move through the area. That'll also be the location where we have the heaviest rain. Richmond, Roanoke Rapids, Raleigh, they will see the heaviest rainfall as the storm makes that track, while we may see less rainfall than what we had tonight from the thunderstorms that move through the area. Now, the one thing that we do have to watch for will be the winds and also the elevated chance for tornadoes from the storm system. The wind speeds could be quite strong Tuesday into the afternoon. We could see wind speeds around 50 miles an hour. Let's go through some of those storm impacts that we'll see from the storm system. Outer banks, 40 to 50 mile an hour winds, 60 mile an hour gusts, maybe an inch of rain. Tornadoes possible into mainland North Carolina, and also that'll be the possibility for the outer banks too. South side and peninsula, not too much rainfall. The winds could be quite strong, especially near the ocean and the bay. And tornadoes may also again be a possibility for many areas because we're on the east side of the storm system and that could be a problem as we go into our area. Heavy rainfall moved in tonight. We had between one and two inches of rainfall happen across the area. Lovely sunset as we go into the next couple of days. The rainfall is going to be again likely from Isaias. Not tomorrow though. Tomorrow a dry sunny day and really hot. 98 degrees. Monday 85. Tuesday 87, Wednesday 90, and then in the upper 80s, Thursdays, Thursday and Friday.